Hello friends and welcome to Live Like a Berry where we read stories together. Today's book is called Counting on Fall and it was written by Lizanne Flatt, illustrated by Ashley Barron. It's a math and nature book. I wonder what that means. Shall we find out? Are you ready? Let's go! Do you think that math matters to the animals and plants? What if nature knew numbers like you? Let's look at the fall. Can you imagine what counting could do? Who'd count the leaves falling from the trees, stirred and disturbed by the passing breeze? I wonder who counts. As more and more fall to the forest floor, the less there are left on the trees. Without counting, where do you see more leaves? Where do you see fewer leaves? Oh, my friends, are there more leaves on the tree or more leaves on the ground? If you need, pause the video and count. Or you can just guess. And the less on the trees, the more on the floor, until the trees stand there nakedly. Guess how many leaves are on the ground. Count them if you'd like. Holy moly, my friends, there's a lot. I bet it's a big number, but I bet you could count. You're smart. What number of nuts would the squirrel stash away? Would they keep count? Would they keep score? Imagine them comparing the size of their stores. <gasps> Look at all those squirrels. Can you count each squirrel's acorns? My friends, before counting, why don't you have a look and guess which squirrel has the most? When fall fruits drop, plop, 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 and seed pods pop, 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 pop. Would they fall in neat patterns? I wonder, do you think they fall in patterns? Would they float into rows? Hmm. How do the seeds get into rows, my friends? Without counting, do you know how many fruits or seeds are in each group? That's a very good question. Hmm, do you want to count? Before you count, guess. Have a look. The seeds are these little brown dots with what well, looks like white wings. They're not wings, but they kind of look like them, don't they? Those are the seeds. Do you think whales would race to a sunny, warm place? Which whale is first? Which whale is last? What places do other whales hold? My friends, isn't it fun racing? These whales kind of remind me of us at recess. If honk honking geese kept to groups ten apiece, what a sight that would make at the lake. Are they in groups of ten? Ooh. Can you see several ways to make up 10? Can you think of other ways to make 10? Hmm, let's see. Over here flying, you've got a group of five and another group of five. And five plus five makes 10. Can you see any other groups, my friends? Pause the picture and go and see. Would pronghorns pair up, lined up in a parade? and prance across the prairie. Oh, how beautiful they are. Can you count the pronghorn antelopes by twos? You gotta count like this. Two, four, six, eight. And go all the way until you got the complete number of pronghorns. With toes like those, do you suppose? Raccoons can count on trouble? Oh my goodness, these raccoons sure are in trouble. Can you count the toes by five? Now instead of counting by twos, we're going to count like this. Five, ten, fifteen. Until all of the raccoon's toes are counted. Might monarchs make sure their roots are arranged so they're tucked up just in ten rows? Can you count the butterflies by tens? Oh, look at those monarch butterflies. Aren't they just pretty? And they're in rows of tens. Now we're going to count like this. 10, 20, 30, 40, and you carry on until all the monarchs are counted. Can you do it? Could bats all behave and keep count in the cave? 
so they slip into sleep one by one. My goodness, there sure are a lot of bats. How many bats are awake in each group? Count backwards from 10. We're going to find a group of 10 and we're going to go like this. 10, 9, 8, 7. And you carry on all the way to 1. When Pika's pack away, piles of wildflower hay, would they promise to pack the same number? Hmm, I wonder. How many Pika's are there? How many do you see, my friends? How many piles does each Pika have? Hmm, it looks like they each have two. How many piles are there all together? Hmm, my friends. We can count one by one. Or, since each Pika has two piles, we can count by twos. If bears were aware, would they think it's fair? If one were to gobble more than his or her share? Hmm, I wonder. Which bear has two berries more than five? And which bear has two berries less than ten? Hmm, which bear, my friends? A flock of cackling crackles awake, ready to leave the tree. If some go here and some go there, do they divide up equally? How many grackles do you see in the flock? How many grackles are in each group? What do you call two equal parts of a whole? Hmm, what do you call that, my friends? I think it's called a half, huh? So, nature knowing numbers? No, not really true. The only creatures to need numbers, actually, just you. You know what, my friends, it's true. We need numbers as humans, right? We need it to count, we need it to grow, we need it to learn. We even need it in books to number pages, especially when you get to the really big chapter books. You can remember that you're on page 65, for example. Can you imagine a book with more than 65 pages? The easier way is to just use a bookmark, but wouldn't it be cool if you remembered? Or you can go to the back of the book and you can see exactly how many numbers of pages are in that big, big book. Why don't you try that now? Go get a book and see how many pages are in that book. Until next time, my friends, I want you to remember to Play like a berry, read like a berry, and live like a berry. Until next time, bye!